dark alleys, unsolved mysteries, and the thrill of the chase. True crime stories have always captivated us, whispering secrets from the shadows. But what happens when these tales leap from the pages and into the world of podcasting? Welcome to the thrilling realm where crime and podcasting intersect, a world where narrating chilling tales could be your golden ticket. Today, we're asking, is podcasting about true crime the new gold rush? Join me as we delve into this riveting journey, unearthing the secrets behind the microphone. Before we dive in, I want you to think what true crime story has stuck with you the most. What was it about that podcast that kept you glued? Let's discover how these stories are not just captivating listeners, but also turning into lucrative ventures for those behind the mic. Ready to explore? Let's get started. In our quest to understand the allure of true crime in the podcasting world, let's first rewind and see how this genre gained its monumental status. True crime has always been a part of our storytelling fabric. From classic whodunits to sensational news coverage. But the podcasting medium has breathed new life into these tales, transforming them into an immersive experience that's both intimate and intense. When podcasts like Serial hit the airwaves, they did more than just recount crimes. They created narratives that were gripping, meticulously researched, and emotionally resonant. This wasn't just storytelling, it was investigative journalism mixed with dramatic narration, and the audience response was overwhelming. Serial, for example, didn't just have listeners, it had devotees who analyzed every detail and eagerly awaited each episode. This marked a turning point, signaling the true crime podcast's potential to engage audiences on a level that was previously unheard of in digital media. But what sets true crime podcasts apart in the ocean of digital content? It's their ability to humanize the narratives. Shows like Case File and Red Handed don't just focus on the what of crime, they delve into the why and the how. They explore the psychological underpinnings, societal contexts, and human impacts of these crimes. This approach makes each episode not just a story, but an exploration into the human condition. It's compelling, thought-provoking, and often deeply moving. The growth of true crime podcasts has also been fueled by their community-building aspect. These podcasts don't just have listeners, they have communities. Fans discuss theories on social media, share personal insights, and even contribute to ongoing investigations. This level of engagement is unparalleled and creates a loyal listener base that's invaluable for podcasters. Moreover, the success of true crime podcasts can be attributed to their accessibility and diversity. With just a simple setup, a microphone, a quiet room, and a compelling narrative, anyone can enter this space. This democratization of content creation means that true crime stories are being told from various perspectives, adding depth and richness to the genre. From professional journalists to amateur sleuths, the range of voices in true crime podcasting is vast and varied. As we observe this rise, it's clear that podcasting has not just revived interest in true crime, it has reinvented it. Now let's turn our attention to the crux of our exploration, the monetization of true crime podcasts. The immense popularity of this genre isn't just a cultural phenomenon, it's a lucrative business venture for many content creators. How are these gripping narratives translating into substantial income? Let's peel back the layers. Firstly, advertising plays a pivotal role. True crime podcasts, with their dedicated listener base, are a gold mine for advertisers. These podcasts offer a unique proposition, a deeply engaged audience, often listening with rapt attention. This level of engagement is a dream for advertisers, leading to premium ad rates. Typically, podcasts can earn through direct sponsorships or programmatic ads. A successful true crime podcast can attract sponsors from various sectors, from lifestyle brands to tech companies each looking to leverage the podcast's loyal audience. But advertising is just the tip of the iceberg. Listener support, often through platforms like Patreon, has become a significant revenue stream. True crime podcasts often offer additional content, behind-the-scenes access, or add free episodes as incentives for listener support. This model not only generates income, but also strengthens the bond between the podcast and its audience. It's a way for listeners to become part of the podcast journey contributing directly to its growth. Merchandising is another avenue that savvy podcasters have tapped into. From branded merchandise to books and live events, the scope is vast. These ancillary products and experiences not only increase revenue, but also enhance the podcast's brand, 
creating new touch points with the audience. Additionally, the true crime genre lends itself to unique monetization opportunities like content syndication and rights sales. The narrative nature of these podcasts often makes them attractive for adaptations into other media formats, be it television, film, or print. This cross-media appeal can open up new revenue streams for podcast creators. It's important to note that monetizing a true crime podcast requires more than just great content. It demands a strategic approach to marketing, audience engagement, and brand building. The most successful podcasters in this genre understand their audience's preferences and tailor their monetization strategies accordingly. They balance the need to generate income with the integrity of their content and the expectations of their listeners. As we delve deeper into the world of true crime podcasting, it's crucial to understand what differentiates a successful podcast in this genre from the rest. What are the ingredients that make these podcasts not just popular, but also profitable? Let's uncover the keys to success in true crime podcasting. The first and perhaps most crucial element is storytelling. A true crime podcast's ability to weave a narrative that is both factual and compelling sets the stage for its success. It's about creating a storyline that grips the listener from the first word to the last. Shows like Serial and Case File excel in this aspect, offering narratives that are detailed, well-paced, and emotionally engaging. The best true crime podcasts tell a story that resonates with the audience, making them feel a part of the investigation. Another key component is research. The depth and accuracy of research can make or break a true crime podcast. Listeners in this genre are often detail-oriented and expect a high level of factual accuracy. This means spending hours delving into case files, court records, and interviews. It's not just about recounting the crime, it's about presenting a comprehensive view of the events, the people involved, and the aftermath. Accurate and thorough research builds credibility and trust with the audience. Engagement with the audience is also vital. Successful true crime podcasts often create a community around their content. They interact with listeners through social media, respond to comments, and sometimes even involve them in discussions or content creation. This level of engagement fosters a loyal listener base, crucial for both audience retention and monetization. Ethical storytelling is particularly important in the true crime genre. Podcasters must navigate the delicate balance between telling an engaging story and respecting the victims and their families. This involves thoughtful consideration of how the content is presented, avoiding sensationalism, and ensuring that the stories are told with empathy and respect. Lastly, the unique angle or approach to the subject matter can set a podcast apart in a crowded market. Whether it's focusing on unsolved cases, taking a psychological perspective, or exploring lesser-known crimes, finding a unique niche can attract a dedicated audience. It's about offering something that isn't readily available elsewhere. Having delved into the lucrative and fascinating world of true crime podcasting, you might be wondering, how do I start my own true crime podcast? Starting a podcast in this genre is both an art and a science. Let's break down the steps to embark on this thrilling venture. Identifying your niche, true crime is a broad field. The first step is to find your unique angle. Do you want to focus on unsolved mysteries, infamous cases, or lesser known crimes? Perhaps your interest lies in the psychological analysis of criminals or the impact of crime on communities. Choose a niche that genuinely interests you and that you believe will captivate your audience. Research and content creation. Thorough research is the backbone of any true crime podcast. You'll need to dive deep into case files, news articles, court documents, and interviews. Remember, accuracy is key. Once you have your facts, script your episodes to tell a compelling story. Use a narrative style that keeps your listeners engaged, blending factual reporting with the art of storytelling. Equipment and recording. Good audio quality is essential for podcasting. Invest in a decent microphone and audio editing software. You don't need a professional studio. A quiet, well-insulated space at home can suffice. Practice recording and editing until you find your voice and style. Building an online presence. Create a strong online presence. This includes a podcast website, social media profiles, and platforms where listeners can find and subscribe to your podcast, like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. Engage with your audience online to build a community around your podcast. Legal and ethical considerations. 
Be mindful of the legal and ethical aspects of covering true crime stories. Always respect the privacy and dignity of victims and their families. Avoid sensationalism and speculation. If necessary, consult legal advice to ensure you're not overstepping boundaries. Monetization strategies. As your podcast grows, explore monetization options. This can include ads, sponsorships, listener donations, or merchandise. Be patient. Monetization takes time and is a result of consistent quality content and a growing listener base. So, grab your mics, start your research, and let the world hear what you have to say. If you found this exploration into true crime podcasting insightful and inspiring, please hit the like button, share this video with fellow true crime aficionados, and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and who knows, maybe you'll be the next voice to captivate the true crime podcasting world.